Welcome to the 6.8.2 Article Linux edition from 1st of June 2018. You may be looking at a strange cursor at this point in time. It's gonna be the topic of um, this video. There is the possibility, of course, to change in any desktop environment your cursor. And in XFCE, it's hidden away in mouse and touchpad. We normally would go to something like appearance and cinnamon for instance but here it is hidden away in the theme and we've added a lot of uh, themes so I have don't really have the necess necessity to change I usually take the breeze snow one but I've installed now an oxygen neon we were discussing discussing about these cursors and I said look there are so many cursors out there and it's just so easy to install it's just typing cursor and then you check out 144 elements to install that's that's one thing that's one possibility to change uh, to, to not to change to download any of these 144 and check them out and if you like them keep them that's one thing and then we were discussing about uh, gnome I better put discord back on since I need the link later on and we're talking about, um, well, cursors. And I said, I said look, um, provide me with a nice one and we'll see what we what can do. But basically it's very personal, all these choices. And let me look up here what link was given. It is called this one, Oxygen Neon Cursor Team. So a good website to go to. 878 cursors so I'm not gonna install any of them <laughs> well not all of them I mean but what I did is take a look at this one oxygen neon and and now I can use it to explain to you how easy it is to install even if it's not coming from ctrl alt t from trizen and then typing cursor so this is the easiest way to do and maybe his in there so maybe we could look because I haven't uh, look yet if it's there so oxygen if we type oxy maybe we get something x cursor oxygen might be the same one i'm not sure eh? but i haven't haven't done this because this is easy you know how to do it press number three and go and select it that's easy but this one is maybe a little more difficult for people so you go into the download and you download a file tar gz so a compressed file and then right mouse click open your window i've done already the exercise you go in here right mouse click extract here we get this file that's an important name to remember so oxy neon this is the way with a hyphen and all that's how you should write it and then cut and then we have uh, with my scripts i use I have already already made a hidden directory. We need hidden directories like .icons and .themes. If you want to test something out, you find something on the net and say, oh, nice icon theme, you put it in here. Nice cursor theme, you put it in here. Nice theme, like these arc themes, these colors here. Then you need to put it in here. So this time I'd copy paste it in here. And if we go and investigate, there's always an index theme. So you know what it is it's just an index theme in icons this is very important uh, inherits uh, line is important I always tell you that so it's included in the video again the source we don't need it and I will not use it but it's nice to see that we have the source here as well a look inside this thing and these things are well actually links so you can't delete it okay fine so this is necessary because he is making links all these uh, sign here this arrow means that he's going to take a look at the other one uh, and there it is so okay fine uh, keep everything together and then how to set it you see it's working here how to set it in XFC anyway um, when we are an open box it's the same way because it's still Arch Linux and open box doesn't have this configuration panel so we need XFC for that. So mouse and touchpad, you go in here and you go check the oxygen neon. That's what you need to select. 
otherwise you'll get this one or that one so we want this one close then you have to know also that um, I'm gonna sh show you everything in this video huh? um, you have to take a look at GTK oh sorry GTK RC 2.0 so it might be in here that you need to change something that's one thing let's go over everything um, the other one you ch could check out if things go wrong is the GTK 3.0 which is this one again breeze snow all right but i haven't I don't have any issues look at the, the arrows here the ball the it turns around funny okay didn't see that so new for me that's one and last but not least and i don't think many people know that open a new tab we have also a user a share and then icons and this is quite a neat trick default there is a default folder in here user share icons default so if it doesn't know it what we did is type in here the breeze snow so i've changed this in here so anything that's any application where he doesn't know what to do is going to take the default in our case the snow breeze but i changed it to oxy neon why oxy neon because that's the name of the file. Uh, I'm gonna find it here. Because the name of the folder. That's it. That's the name. Uh, he, he should address this folder. So as you can see, all the things we've found here, the settings any is still breeze snow. So no problems here at um, XFCE. Everything is, is looking well, actually nice because it's the same kind of blue of the arc theme, so it fits together. Only, only if you have a dark um, wallpaper, because if you just go ahead, this, this blue is almost invisible at this point in time. So you need to have something dark as background and then the blue is just fine or maybe something light as well. So this is easiest when you have these dark wallpapers. So you know now where to look, but as you can see, I did not change it. It's not uh, changed. It's still breeze snow and I have no issues at all. But if you do have issues, these three elements are the elements you need to know to change your cursor. So now you can change any of the, how many was it? 878 cursors to test out. And if you say, Eric, take a look, this is beautiful one. You need to include it on the Arca Linux. I will take a look at it and we will, we might include it. All right, have fun using Arch Linux, guys. Bye.